Next is saddening. Now, four months after the closure of the Kenya Petroleum Refineries Limited, Kenyans are still paying relatively same prices for fuel. Now, this, as Adelaide Changola explains, put questions to government and industry players claims that the refinery contributed at least 10 shillings to the pump prices. The decision to convert the 53-year-old oil refinery in Mombasa into a storage facility last year received a rapturous welcome from oil marketers and consumers alike, with analysts saying the move would save the country a fortune in the long term. According to industry estimates, inefficiency at the refinery had inflated the cost of each litre of fuel by at least 3 shillings and 60 cents. That is the cost, the price we have to pay for corruption, the price we have to pay for inefficiency, the price we have to pay for not running our institutions as expected. Players in the sector said the decision to turn it from a tolling refinery into a merchant refinery would allow them to buy all their processed oil directly from the international market and would lead to an immediate reduction of fuel prices and the improvement of quality. But five months after this suggestion became fact, a new reality is emerging. In the latest fuel price review, the Energy Regulatory Commission raised the maximum retail prices for petrol and kerosene but reduced the prices of diesel. This increase is the fourth straight upward review of fuel prices. From tomorrow, motorists will pay 113 shillings and 61 cents for a litre of fuel, while kerosene prices will rise by 84 cents to retail at 83 shillings and 63 cents per litre. Diesel prices will fall by 94 cents to retail at 104 shillings and 86 cents from tomorrow. But these prices are almost identical to those in September before the refinery was closed. In September last year, Super Petrol retailed at 113 shillings and 88 cents, diesel at 105 shillings and 55 cents, while kerosene retailed at 85 shillings and 55 cents. This then begs the question, was the refinery just a scapegoat for the high fuel prices? And if the prices when the supposedly inefficient and ineffective refinery was operational match the current prices, could the proposed upgrade of East Africa's only refinery have yielded more benefits to the consumer, especially given the recent oil and gas fines? Adelaide Changole, KTN Business.